Hi Virgo, we're doing your mid-month love reading and we're taking a look into the person that you're thinking about and we're having a look at how they're feeling, any actions that they're going to take towards you and of course we are going to pull guidance as well, okay? So obviously my readings, the way that I read, it's not going to be for absolutely everybody, okay? I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. So, you know, just take whatever comes out of the read as and if it resonates, okay? Definitely don't try and force anything to fit, okay? Um, so, yeah, anything that you don't like, as always, you can change it, okay? Tarot is just a temperature check, all right? It's not set in stone. Uh, there's no need to get offended at anything that comes out of any read, um, especially a general tower read as well, okay? That's just silly. Right, so your strongest messages that are coming out. Uh, your first one is actually in reverse. I look for you everywhere. In reverse. So I feel that this is someone who's got a little bit of an obsession for you here, Virgo. Um, so it's not that they're actively looking for you everywhere, but it's more to do with because they're so obsessed with you, they're, they're just seeing you everywhere. Um, so, oh, how to explain it better? Because they're thinking of you constantly, because of that constant obsession, if they see a stranger walking down the street, and they've got like the same style of walk as you, you know, like the same gait, G-A-I-T-E, the same gait as you. They catch themselves and they're like, oh, you know, and, the, and their heart will actually skip in their chest because they, they, they're convinced in that moment that that person is you, you know. So that's the first message. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Okay, so a very catalytic type connection with this person, um, probably like a if you subscribe to Twin Flames, again, not everybody does, okay? Let's be respectful of everyone's individual beliefs, okay? If you subscribe to the Twin Flames, um, then this person is fairly, fairly certain that, that you are their Twin Flame counterpart. Um, that there's definitely that sort of catalytic energy. And you will find that Twin Flames are there to do, to do just that, you know, it, it's to trigger each partner into that spiritual awakening so that each person can get on to their, um, onto their destined path, if you will, you know, that their life purpose, uh, that, that's why it's such a catalytic connection, it is to spiritually awaken. Uh, I know I messed up everything, yeah, so again, that ties in with that catalytic energies, yeah, um, uh, <sighs> I mean, a connection that maybe wasn't abrasive. I mean, yeah, it could have been abrasive for some of you, but definitely um, one of the more complex connections that, that you've ever had. Uh, and I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, so, I mean, a little bit of ego going on here. Okay. And I regret lying to you. So they, they have been less than honest about something here, um, quite sort of egotistical, but they're saying, look, I actually, I, I, I took a lot out of that connection with Virgo and in a roundabout way, yeah, I am really, really grateful for what I learned about myself while I was with Virgo, but it was also unfair on Virgo because, you know, Vir Virgo's not, um, oh, what, what's the word? It's like, you, you're not there to be used for other people to learn how to be better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, anyway, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. It's just a temperature check. Let's get on with the read. What's going on for Virgo's person in love? We have their heart space, head space. What are their challenges and what actions, if any, will they take towards Virgo, please? What's going on for Virgo? Okay. Okay. Two pages. Straight away. Page of cups in the upright position. Page of coins in the reverse position. In their headspace, Virgo, they're saying, I know I owe you a sincere apology. However, I don't feel 
that anything that I do right now is ever going to make it up to you. Knight of Coins, yeah. Probably another Earth sign. Taurus, another Virgo or a Capricorn. Could be, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Zodiac information is like, you, you, you can take it or leave it, okay? Is this Knight of Coins for me? That's very slow, very deliberate, um, and it feels like the person that you're dealing with or thinking of, they're gearing themselves up for a battle, okay? Not necessarily for an argument, not that kind of battle, but they just know that they have made things really, really difficult for themselves when it comes down to the connection with you. And they just don't know how to get out of this hole because they're like, yeah, I, I do owe Virgo a sincere apology. But you know what? Right now, I don't think Virgo's going to listen to me. I don't think Virgo wants to listen to me right now. Um, therefore, anything that I offer Virgo is probably just going to be refused. And you know what? If I was in Virgo's shoes, I'd do the exact same thing. Okay, so that is your message here from your person or the person that you're thinking of. You do know that we only say your person so that you can, so that you'll know easier who it is that we're talking about. Okay, we don't necessarily mean your person. Okay, like, yeah, th th this is your person. Like, we don't mean it that way. It's, it's just a turn of phrase that us readers have to use so that you can discern easier and quicker who this is that's coming out in your energy, okay? The Six of Coins is coming out in their heart space. Ooh, wow. And the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. Shit a brick. Um, wow. In someone's heart space towards you, Virgo, that's what you're going to want to see, like, straight away. If you just give me a second, I'll switch out quickly to the overhead camera so that you can see this, this row here. That's their heart space. Look at all this cups energy. You got three out of four cups energies in their heart space towards you, Virgo. These are beautiful energies to have in someone's heart space towards you. You've got overflowing love, unconditional love, with the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups completion. Like it literally jumps from the Ace to the Ten. Happy home, happy family, you know, feeling safe, protected, secure, building a family together. You know, it, it's beautiful. And to jump from the Ace to the Ten as well is absolutely phenomenal because when you think about tarot, you have to go from the ace to the two to the three to the four, you know, step by step by step, all the way up to the ten. That's a big leap. That's a big jump. So there is no question, Virgo, that this individual is massively in love with you or massively loves you. Again, depending on what type of love, okay? It's not always going to be romantic for everybody, okay? Again, that's another thing where you have to use your discernment, all right? And then the King of Cups, someone who is comfortable with their feelings, someone who is, you know, okay to admit, do you know what? Yeah, actually, I am in love. Because that can come really, really hard for some people. You know how a lot of people tend to put up a bit of a front, pretending that they don't have feelings, pretending that they're not hurt. You know how it goes, yeah? With this combination, this is someone being completely open and honest about their feelings for you. Open and honest about their plans for the future as well. The thing is, though, with this being a bit of a jump, perhaps things were moving a little bit too quickly. And perhaps that's what scared off one or the other of you because things were moving too quickly. And again, like that can potentially be a red flag when the relationship moves too quick. Yeah, that's the number one thing usually that you're supposed to be on the lookout for, right? Relationships are supposed to be uh, gradual, gradual growth, you know, not like, oh, I met this person last week and they're moving in already. Do you know what I mean? That's a little bit too damn quick. Um, 
But hey, for some people that can actually work out as well, you know. It's very, very rare that um that that you can meet someone that quick and move in that quick and it it'll actually be a good match, you know. Uh, nine times out of ten there's something a bit dark that's going on behind the scenes. But, you know, let's look at the other side of the coin as well. Like for some people, really it does happen, but it still does happen, and we have to acknowledge that. That, you know, people can move in with each other quickly and that's it then, you know, they're, they're now 92 years old and they're still living together and everything's amazing still, you know, that's this kind of energy right here, it's like sometimes people just know that that they belong together, they, they, they just know, like, immediately, okay, that's this energy in a nutshell and, of course, your six of coins a fair exchange, an equal give and take, a balanced and fair partnership. Okay, right next to the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. That's all in their heart space towards you, Virgo. This person is wanting to give to you. This person is wanting to treat you in the way that, that you deserve, which is with love, honesty and respect. What are they challenged by, please, for Virgo? Any negative assholes, you can do one. Like, seriously, I'm not dealing with it. Neither is Virgo. Virgo's not dealing with the negativity either. What is this person challenged by? Seven of Wands and the Justice card. As their challenge. Um, listen, I'm hoping that that's not something legal that they're wrapped up in. But it certainly is coming across that way, especially with the Seven of Wands. They, they're challenged by the fact that they have to defend themselves here. If they're dealing with, a, with an ongoing legal situation, that's going to be really, really complicated. Really complicated. It feels like they're, they're defending themselves in a legal issue. Yeah, Knight of Swords off balance. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's like uh Oh, what's that word? What's that word? Spirit, help me out here. Um. The 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 word is on the tip of my tongue, but my brain can't find it. If that makes sense. Um, it is where someone tries to interfere with the reputation of another individual, but I can't think what it's called right now. Like, the word is there, it's just not coming out. Um, defamation. There we go. Thank you. Defamation. Neither swords off balance in this context. So, they've probably gotten themselves wrapped up in a defamation lawsuit, okay? Either someone's tried to wreck and ruin their reputation, or your person had a bit of a funny moment and tried to wreck and ruin someone else's reputation and now they're caught up in some kind of legal battle to do with that, okay? Because who, whoever, wh whoever it was that was attacked was not going to sit down and take that bullshit lightly. Like, they're, they're fighting back, okay? And it's coming out as a challenge. So that potentially could see them tied up for a little bit, Okay. Or if this is something that they instigated upon themselves by trying to attack another person, then they're challenged by the fact that now, in your eyes, they're an asshole. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're very concerned and worried about that. Because they don't want to come across as being an asshole. Um, okay. Okay. So, they've, they've got this nature then where they react to things. Uh, you, you know how they say anger makes people stupid? That's what's happened. So they're, they're needing to work on them constantly reacting to other people triggering them. They've got to work on that because every time they react, when someone triggers them, they're, they're giving away their power. What actions will they take towards Virgo, please? What actions will they take towards Virgo? Okay. What actions will they take? Whoa. Three of Cups. 
Five of Wands, King of Swords. Okay. Going through a trial. Five of Wands, there's trials of strength. But I didn't hear trial of strength with that one. I heard going to trial. Which would stand to reason, wouldn't it, if they're in, embroiled in some kind of court situation. Um, yeah. So, their actions towards you at this point in time, Virgo. You're going to have to just wait and see. If, if you're interested in this individual. Obviously, if you're not interested in them at all, just keep walking. Just keep walking, okay? If it doesn't concern you, then it doesn't concern you, right? But for anyone who is, they're saying, look, you're going to have to wait and see what happens here. Th this is quite dodgy energy, okay, Virgo? I'm not going to lie. You've got the Three of Cups, five of, five of Wands, and the King of Swords. Now, it could well be that this person, either they are dealing with that court situation and it's going to go to trial and they have to wait for the decision to come back and then they can figure out what was going to happen between you two from that point onwards. But there is certainly an ongoing struggle that's going on. I'm hoping that this is not saying that they're going to triangulate you with another person. Because potentially that also could be what's going on for a small, small handful of you. Potentially this person could be a bit manipulative and you know making comparisons and and triangulating you against another person it's our three of cups for me and it, within that context it's like ooh. see if we were looking at that combination you could be saying well either this person's cheating they've got a three person situation or the flip side of that is they're wanting to celebrate something with you. You know, that could be like a little gathering, a little engagement party. Uh, you sharing the love with a, you know, with a very small group of trusted friends and family. Uh, your Three of Cups is one of the energies where it's really 50-50. Okay, so we've got to pay attention to the context. And the context is the Five of Wands. It's a struggle. It can be a power struggle also. So they're too engaged within a power struggle with another person at this point in time, Virgo, in order to make you a priority. Which again, you're still going to feel like this person is playing games with you. So you're going to have to figure out what's best for you in this situation, okay? Tarot is not here to tell anybody what to do. It's just a temperature check. That's it. Overall energy, the Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins. Stay grounded in the moment. Be present in the moment. Be aware of everything that's going on. Okay. Queen of Coins. What else for Virgo, please? What else for Virgo? Virgo in love. Virgo in love. Oh my days. <laughs> Messages do not want to come out today. There we go. The eagle. Interesting. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. The star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. Interesting. So that spirit is saying that better times are ahead of you. And luck. <laughs> nice. You're right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Yeah, so it's literally saying, look, follow your own northern star, okay? 
you know what's right for you, you know what's healthy for you, uh, you've got Lady Luck that's smiling on you here, Virgo, so focus on the opportunities that are ahead of you, okay, it's time, time to focus on you, okay, what else for Virgo, please? Oh yeah, I do need to give a little uh, warning about this final deck that I'm using. If you're not into swearing or sarcasm, then you don't have to listen, okay? I just like to use cheeky decks at the end of the read because I find that it can really help lift the energy at the end of a read, okay? Right. You're not your situation. Interesting. So, yeah, th there is situ there's a situation here that's going on between yourself and your significant other, whoever that might be. Uh, it's a situation that's beyond your control, Virgo. And it's saying, look, you are not your situation, right? One of the keys to becoming spiritual as fuck is to define who you are by something deeper inside yourself and further outside yourself than the world can touch. You are someone, even if you're not your financial situation, you're not your job, you're not your relationships, you're not even your body. Find out who that person is and you will be unfuckwithable. Hint, you'll probably have to do some soul searching. Yeah. So use this time, Virgo, to go on a bit of a like self-discovery mission, okay? Figuring out who you are beyond your relationship, your relationship status. Who are you beyond your name? Okay, it's like who are you deep, deep down? Who is your essence? Okay. Um, but yeah, interesting read, uh, but that is what I have for you guys today. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. And don't forget to go check out your other signs or maybe even the daily readings as well. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.